Hey Ratbags, it's Jay today giving you the news that Honeycomb, a new survival game, is going to be releasing not till next year, but they've just announced that it will be coming to PC and consoles in quarter 3 2024. Now this has been on my radar for a couple years. It's kind of got that vibe, very much to me anyway, it reminds me of something like Subnautica but set on land. This got made about two years ago, this trailer and it was from Playway. At the time they were doing lots of trailers like these for different types of games and basically if they were gaining interest they would go on to actually properly fund the game and make it actually happen. So I weren't too sure how much this was CGI back in the day and really rather not this was actually a proper game but it does look like it's come on leaps and bounds and I'm going to be showing you the latest trailers and the progress and talking about what Honeycomb is going to be. As always the home of survival games news, let's go. So Honeycomb, the world beyond is its full name now, a survival sandbox set on an exuberant planet SOTA 7. Explore its vast world and face challenges on your bioengineering journey. Crossbreed plants or animals, gather resources, craft items and conduct experiments in order to develop new species. At the moment it does look like it is only going to be a single player game. Originally scheduled for the end of quarter 4 2023, so pretty much now until Christmas. They've now pushed it back until at some point, I'm guessing, between July and September next year. Why are they doing this? Because they're not going to actually launch it in early access. It's going to be a complete game now, but it's also going to be coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. They've said that they want the journey to begin for everyone at the same time. And you know what? Fair play. You're going to be someone called Hennessy and you will be exploring SOTA 7. And yeah, it looks really colourful. I think it's definitely got a unique vibe and a premise. Obviously, maybe not as scary as Subnautica, and of course, that game is obviously set underwater. But I like the idea of running into creatures, doing lots of science experiments, and hopefully trying to come up with ways to make maybe the perfect specimen creature without it becoming a mutated story and basically fighting survival. It does look really cool, the way that we'll hopefully interact with lots of creatures, making uses out the resources, and obviously gathering enough stuff to build our complex science homes. It definitely is an interesting vibe going on here. So yeah, I'm down for this one. So yeah, a big focus is going to be on this crossbreeding and we're hopefully looking for different properties. Some apparently are going to be able to be used to save thousands of lives and that's going to be the main reason that we're doing this. It does look like it's not a cozy style game though. Some are going to be friendly, others are less than happy to share their habitat with a traveler from the stars. Really cool feature is, as you saw there, some CCTV that'll actually come from drones that you'll be able to utilize to help expand your base and make it suitable for both its inhabitants and research. They're calling it the planning mode and yeah, you can have your base built just automatically. If this is going to be a new way to build, that would be really something interesting too. The world will have lots of diverse biomes, loads of different plants and animals for us to discover, crossbreeding the animals as well as the plant life setting up our lab to do our experiments and gathering enough materials to survive. So if they can make the engineering aspects of this where we are splicing together either plants or creatures and it's really interesting, then yeah, I think this could be a real winner. It'd be cool if it's like minigame basis or very much trial and error. I've seen a little bit of this with maybe Forever Skies where you're kind of making cures and mutating viruses. And yeah, hopefully this is a big deal. It's not just going to be a case of just pressing one button, but some sort of deeper mechanics to it. Obviously the publisher behind this have got much experience with games like House Flipper. So yes, it's good in a way that they're going to kind of bypass early access. Although you're missing out on that player feedback, it is nice to finally see some more survival games just reaching all platforms, not just PC at first. So I'm going to put this in rotation. We get any proper gameplay, any big news about it, or if it goes onto the Xbox or PlayStation stores, I'll keep you guys informed. Honeycomb, the world beyond.